I actually really need to leave the house, so I don't know why I've picked now to start vlogging, but hello, good morning, or welcome. I've decided I felt like picking up the camera and doing a bit of a weekly vlog. So it is Monday morning, I have got ready, I had to film a brand deal this morning, it was for New Look, which is really exciting, one of my faves to work with, and then I am just about to leave. I'm going to get my lip filler done. I had them dissolved a couple of weeks ago um, and it's now time to get them redone. So I will take you along with me for that. And then the rest of the day is a girlies day. We are going to Chloe's. We're gonna go to Toby Carvery. I'm so excited for that. Get all the food in my belly now. But yeah, I thought I would just pick the camera up super quickly, start the vlog off, and then I will take you with me for whatever I end up getting up to this week. Desperately need to leave, but here's a little look at what I'm wearing today. This is an ELR style bodysuit. It's the Lauren t-shirt one, and I love these. They're so comfy. If I don't know what to wear, I'll put on one of these. And then I've just got like this kind of oatmeal-y, like beige cardigan. I've got new look Tory mum jeans on, and then my new Converse Move. These, I love them. I'm so glad I finally have a pair of platform Converse. I feel like they are gonna change my life. Just gonna throw on a trench coat, I think, for an extra layer, and then we're good to go. So I have made it to HM Cosmetics. I have been seeing Holly to get my lips done for like three or so years now, I wanna say. She also does my tear filler, but that's looking like not too bad at the minute, actually. So I don't need a top up of that just yet. But two or so weeks ago, I got my lip filler dissolved just because I'd started to get like a little bit of unevenness. I had a bump there. So they were just kind of like looking a little bit uneven. I wasn't loving the shape. So we decided to get rid of it all and then we're starting again. But I won't lie, I have really missed having the filler. I think it just really suits my face and helps everything like balance out really nicely and they still look natural so yeah i am really excited to get going again look just this it's giving me ugh. Ew. who invited her yeah, yeah. we didn't book a table for six her name's janice <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, lips are done. I didn't film while I was in there because I was filming on my phone for a little reel. What are you doing? <laughs> um, but then I had to hop, hop, hop put it, can't speak, had to hop put it over to Maria's and then we are... Hop put it? 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 Yeah. I did hop put it. She hot. She hot put it. I hot put it. Is that normal? Not expression. <laughs> anyway, I had to get to Maria's quickly because now we're in the car and we're going to see Starbucks. Chloe. Well, we're going to Starbucks <laughs> first. Yeah, white mocha ASAP. I need a large one. ASAP. ASAP. I can get a small one. <gasps> a small one. Oh, oh wait, did you already have one today? No, I didn't actually. Oh. They gave me one without soy milk earlier. I was so upset, but also it wasn't as nice. White mocha really? with soya is elite. Oh, I've only really had it with normal milk. No, milk. it's creamier. It's so nice. Maybe I'll do a soya milk. today then. Get I'm gonna get a large. Yeah, gonna well, will, will that fill me up too much pre Toby Carvery? Maybe I should get a medium. Yeah. That's it. We're on the way to Kobe's. Abby is already there, and then we're getting a Toby Carvery, and I cannot wait. But first, petrol and a Starbucks. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hiya. Ma'am. Hiya, ma'am. Ma <laughs> we're at the Toby Carvery, ma'am. Hiya. Look. This is like when family vloggers give their toddler their camera. There she is. <laughs> there's another one. And there's another one. They've got a free pack here. A three pack. A multi pack. A value pack. <laughs> and how are your vibes at the Carvery today? I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, me too. Are you having a fantastic time? Are you having a fantastic time? Yeah, what about you? What are you feeling? I'm not shit time. You haven't seen it yet? You don't look like you are. Why are you upset? Because I thought I'd try something a bit different and have mac and cheese on my car. Oh, I didn't even do that. The mac and cheese is incredible. Not with the gravy, it really upset me. Yeah. What's, what's this jelly you have here? Really? This is oh. you don't have cranberry sauce, oh, Jessica. What you don't? What's I don't. Like, like, 
I just have a nice gravy, yeah. uh, and that is all you I'm friends with I know, these but I like people. it with peas and mashed potatoes. I like that it is a bit vinegary and it hurts my mouth. <laughs> oh, I love a retail park. You do love a retail park, don't you? I do, yeah. Where's the best retail park, Maria? Norwich, because there's a H&M. Fair enough. I want yeah. to be able to drive my car into a H&M and then park it outside. Into it. <laughs> Last time we were at Chloe's, we were meant to go home. Or on the way home, we were meant to go to B&M to get some, I think, like, some decorations for New Year's. What is she doing? <laughs> we were meant to get some decorations for New Year's. <laughs> and um, we got there, and then it started, like, raining, and both of us went... We're not getting out of the car right now. <laughs> oh, I missed it. They were racing each other to the dogs. They're so excited for home sayings. Oh, you got oh, denim this year. You'd love it. <laughs> what a great couple of Look at that. Items. It feels a bit weird. Does it feel like denim? No, it doesn't. Does it but like, like it kind of does at the same time. It's like clay vibes. No, it's not even denim. It's just made to look yeah, like it. Lick it. Go on, lick it. I'll give you a try, but lick yeah, it. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck would that be me? <laughs> it would be. Do you not see it? <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's a dog, obviously. It's Look a at dog. it. What, what make and model is that? What make and model? What? What, what is it? Are you almost <laughs> on the Labrador of this group. You are, but that what does give Labrador? you also. That is not a Labrador. I think I'm no. King Charles. Cavalier. Of course you are. I can tell. Stop throwing esoteric stuff on the stage. Can't make when I work. No. No. I don't understand the rest. Of Matty Healy. It's one of his auto tunes. He says, "Stop throwing esoteric stuff on the stage. Can't make bueno work." Don't like, don't, uh, don't like bueno. Don't yeah. like, don't like mentos. Menthols. Menthols. <laughs> I am really tempted by one of these mirrors. They're very like. There you go. Oh, look at that. Eee. No, they're very cute. They're all on clearance for like twenty-seven pound each, and I need a little something for my little filming setup where I do my reels. I'm like, I just think they're. They're a bit cute. I Amy, like them. Amy's got a boot. She she does have a boot. That is absolutely true. She just yeah, gone gone. Girlies, we're putting this to a vote. Would this look nice in my f new filming setup? Oh, that looks nice. I like. Have you got other glasses? Huh? Have you got other black things? Black frame that's got a pink and green oh, print in it. Yeah. But is it overkill or is it cute? Yeah. yeah. Twenty four. Oh, but it's not bad for a lamp. Maria, <laughs> come here. We need you to mount this to my TikTok. Oh my god. Can you pretend to be in it like this little boy is? No, he's, he's riding it. Keep going, though. I'll get it dirty. My shoes are wrong. No, 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 no. Just, just pretend. Like, just. Oh, pretend to be, like, you know, mounting it and kind of like riding the dinosaur. No. We were standing still, we were going. Slow. 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 Try and get me close attention. <laughs> like Marco Polo. And then we just say, Bring me! Yeah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> She's gone for a ride on her dinosaur! <laughs> there we go. That <laughs> That's incredible. Fantastic. Abby. Can't be trusted. Oh, that is sensational. Yeah, it is. That's incredible. That is absolutely sensational. <laughs> I'm going to put that on my story. Thank the you. way the rest of it, she's Thank getting you. papped. Suddenly, it's so Suddenly. Please, I'm a bit scared. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Please. <laughs> hey, we are back home. And um, I got a little something, something from Home Sense. You've already seen the lamp, haven't you? I love that. I actually think it's really cool. I'm gonna like set it up in a second and just see how it like fits in with the space. But I'm really glad I went for it in the end. Actually, at first I was like, mm, is it like too pink? But I don't think too pink exists, not in my world. And then I also got this like massive, massive bottle of um, vanilla syrup from TK Maxx. Just because I think I'm running out of syrup in my coffee corner. And this is like 1.75 litres, I think. And it was 7.99. And the bottle that was only 750ml was 4 99 so this was like £3 extra and you got a whole extra litre of syrup. And this, it like lasts a while. I've got until December 2024, no, October 2024, I can't tell the date. But that, very pleased with that. And then we went to B&M quickly and oh my god, I've just noticed in the mirror, you can see 
Can you see that? Where I've not done my um, bodysuit up properly, so it's just hanging out the back of my trousers. But it's because I've just got home and I want to be comfortable. But um, from me and M, I got these chocolate brownies. They're called Brompton House. And I don't know what they put in these, but it's pretty sure it's crack. Like, it is. I can't even explain how these brownies make me feel. Some type of way, that's for sure. I was going to get a bag that was only. I think six brownies but this is a box of 10 but it's like a reusable plasticky or like almost tupperware vibe and it's only a pound extra and i was like you know what actually i'll use the box for whatever and i get four whole extra brownies in there as well and they are just divine i love them but yeah that's my very miniature haul thought i'd just give a quick update on my lips as well like they are a little bit bruised at the minute but i am the type of person i bruise so easily so it's never a concern for mine when i do bruise very normal some people just react to it like worse than others some people don't bruise at all i'm a bruiser i'm a little peach yeah they're like they're looking really good i'm so happy with the shape of them now so getting them dissolved and refilled was absolutely the right decision and i'm so glad i did it because i just think they look perfect now basically this side just used to dip down further than the other side so they looked quite uneven and i think it almost made it a bit of a giveaway that I had lip filler whereas like previously to that they looked really natural but I think it's just where they started dissolving like you your body naturally dissolves the lip filler so I think it was just kind of doing it at a different rate each side so they just looked a little bit uneven and I just wasn't vibing with them anymore but they look so good now I'm so so pleased and obviously later in the week you will see them with less bruising like this will only last a couple of days they're still a little bit swollen so they probably will go down a tad but i could not be happier so yeah <sighs> glad i got it done i look unbelievably shiny right now but it's just because i've drowned my face in setting spray just getting ready for the day um and i didn't sleep very well last night i woke up with quite a bad headache and it's like just throwing me off slightly because i've got a lot that i need to do today and i want to be productive you know when your kind of body doesn't match up with all the stuff you've got going on so i am just trying to kind of get this done as quickly as possible and then i've got a couple of bits that i need to film this morning and then i'm going off into actual london coffee shop vibe for the day to get loads of admin done like really boring stuff but the stuff that once it's off my to-do list will make me feel so good about myself so i'm looking forward to kind of getting it all done and just feeling accomplished february's actually been quite a quiet month for me in terms of like work but i've really needed it i had such a busy kind of few months towards the end of last year like pre-christmas and it got really stressful at times and then I thought January was going to be really quiet and I kept telling myself I just need to get through to January and January is going to be like silent and there's going to be nothing happening and actually it turned out to be really busy as well so February is my quiet month instead and I really really needed it I've needed the time to just switch off a little bit and I've still been doing the odd bits of work like I've still been filming for YouTube but I haven't posted on my Instagram account in like a week now probably just over that actually so that's been quite a while i think i posted a reel every single day from the 1st of january to about the 7th of february then i did a couple between the 7th and i think the 13th and then 14th onwards i literally haven't posted at all i've still been on my stories and stuff so i haven't gone completely silent but i just needed a bit of a, a second away from it just because i was running myself into the ground a little bit and like i've had this recurring sinus infection i'm sure you've heard me talk about it before and i'm so sick of talking about it i'm really bored of complaining about feeling run down and rough but it's just so continually present i'd much rather like a hard and fast illness where it completely wipes you out but it only takes like a couple of days to a week and then it's just gone whereas this i first got ill in october it's really affected my chest the whole time as well i've ended up with a really bad cough and that started back in october and again i haven't been able to get rid of the cough since then and we're now like coming towards the end of february it's been a while it's just like residual ever since and it's been not fun i'm bored 
of it now. I've been referred to an ENT to see if they can kind of figure out what's going on with it. But that referral has taken a while as well. But it is what it is. I'm glad I at least have the referral. And then hopefully once that happens, we'll be able to figure out a way to fix all of this because I'm just not thriving. But whatever. Just finished my makeup and how good do my lips look? I am so, so happy with the way they've turned out. Oh, I still need to do this actually. And I need to brush out my hair. Oh, she's given some volume there. But it's got so much dry shampoo in the minute. It feels so dry. But it was the only way I was going to be able to go out tonight without washing my hair. I'm just so pleased. I just think they look absolutely incredible. I'm just so happy. It was definitely the right decision. Mmm. Yeah, I'm so, so happy. I just think they look incredible. They look so natural. But I really do find that the lip filler really balances out my face and, like, my features. I think it just suits me so much. And then when I had the filler dissolved, I was like, oh, maybe I won't bother getting them refilled. Maybe it'll just be okay. And then I was like... I don't know. I can't even explain it. I just think it balances out all of my features so well that now I kind of can't imagine not having it at least until I'm a lot older but we'll see I'm just about to retry on the dress from last night to see whether I want to wear it tonight um and I figured while I'm at it might as well give you a bit of an ASOS haul because I ordered a few bits the other day haven't tried them on yet so we might as well do it together. Hopefully you can see this. This is the furthest I can get the camera away and I appreciate I can't get in full length but it's because I'm tall there's a lot of me. But this is the one that I tried on last night because I want to wear it tonight and it is a not quite a maxi it's also not a midi it's like a mid axi but I really don't like that word but it's abstract quite bright little very tight dress quite outside of what I usually wear hold on let me show you the print like it's really really nice I've got a bodysuit on underneath just for like a little bit of smoothing and you can see it up here but the plan is to wear like an oversized black blazer with my Jaden so like chunky platform boots and a black handbag just to kind of grunge it up and like make it a little bit cooler like this is fun and bright and colourful, but that's not quite my vibe. It sometimes is, but like at the minute it feels like it's not, if that makes sense. So it doesn't really matter basically that you can see the bodysuit because that will be covered by the blazer anyway. And it just kind of helps hold everything in. Feels a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but to be honest, I feel so uninspired by the whole of my wardrobe currently that I feel like wearing something that's outside of my comfort zone is probably quite good for me at the minute. I think we're just gonna go for it, but once it's all come together and I get like just one good photo i'll be like yeah banging choice glad i did that i wasn't sure how i was going to feel about this one i won't lie but i am absolutely obsessed with this it fits me so nicely this is just asos own brand the last dress was a brand called i want to say evoke but everything will be um linked down below anyway but this is absolutely sensational Get a little bit closer. My boobs aren't quite in it properly because I still have the bodysuit on instead of a proper bra. But like it fits so, so nicely. It's a really cute gingham print. It's going to be perfect for spring. I am going to wear this to death. And then it's got a little split in the back. I just think this is gorgeous. And actually, considering I have been feeling a little bit uninspired about my wardrobe and a little bit just, I don't know, like been a I'm a bit of a downer about the way I look recently and that's really unlike me but I think it's just because I'm a bit bored with like winter clothes like big layers and like slouchy fits and I know obviously winter doesn't have to be that but winter often does look like that for me I am just a spring summer kind of girl when it comes to clothes and this is making me so so excited so I'm really glad I picked this up and it has surpassed every expectation that i had I literally can't stop looking at myself in the mirror sorry but this haul too good i have struggled for a really long time to find a good like oversized leather jacket that fits nicely and looks nice talk about this all the time but i'm five foot ten i'm a size 18 so when you're like tall and on the bigger end of the sizing scale it can be really hard to find stuff that is oversized that actually is oversized and looks good it's like a real 
struggle of mine and a lot of the time I really love an oversized vibe but I just can't carry it off because the clothes aren't made well enough to cater for someone who's like a size 18 and tall so I never quite get it right but this oh I'm so happy with this so it's a leather jacket but it is such a good level of oversized like it's not so big that it's drowning me but it's like nice and boxy and will look really cool obviously I just throw it through it on over the dress that I was already wearing but this with like even leggings and a hoodie is going to change the game for me like it just about covers my bum I think or like comes close to the edge of my bum which I've never had before usually leather jackets are always like up here quite tight fitting and just don't give the the overall vibe that I want them to but this I think this is ASOS own brand again I'm pretty sure it is um, they are just answering all of my prayers today. This has got to be one of my most successful hauls in a very long time, if not ever, actually, because this, again, very good. So this is like, again, not quite maxi on me, but probably maxi on someone of a more average height. But this is just like khaki, it's a wrap dress there. Again, I've got the bodysuit on, so it doesn't work quite as well over my boobs. But as soon as I've got a normal bra on, it will fit perfectly. And then it's got like this little button detail down the side. And then we've got a cheeky split leg. And it's like a really good, I like a big slit in the leg. I like quite a lot of leg popping out. And it's a really good level. Because if you're standing normally, you don't really notice it. And then every so often you're like, come on. I love that. And it's just one of those things where it's like, it's simple it's plain but in a good way like it's got enough detail with the wrap it's got kind of puff sleeves it's got the buttons it's got the slit and it's got like a little like frilly tear at the bottom as well so it's got enough detail going on it's not boring but it's plain will go with a lot and it's one of those things it's really light fabric as well so even on those really hot summer days it's going to be something that you can throw on and you'll just feel good, you'll be comfortable, but still look really put together. And that is like one of my favorite ways to dress where it's just easy, but you still look good. This is a good all rounder dress because you can definitely wear it with trainers and boots, make it casual, stick a pair of heels on, you've got a nice dress. This dress I'm not really vibing with, but it's not gonna ruin my mood because the rest of the haul has been so good. The sleeves are a tiny bit short on me, the dress is short, but I, that's because I'm tall and short dresses don't really bother me. Like, a, that's not a thing that I'm concerned about. But I just don't know if it does anything for me. Like, it's cute. But as we've seen, the haul has way cuter. So it's like, if I hadn't tried on the, all the other bits and felt so good about them, maybe I'd feel differently. My battery died, which is rude, but I was just basically saying that the dress, it wasn't really doing it for me. Like, it, mm, I could give or take it, so I think that's going to be a return. But the last couple of bits in my haul were literally just this t-shirt that I've put on. I've decided I'm going to wear them today with the jackets. So it's like holding up for it. Um, but just a stripy t-shirt because the one I've got is a bit battered. So I just needed a new one. And then I can't get far enough away to show you them. But just a pair of, uh, I think these are from the Hourglass range. But jeans, I saw them on Georgia Millie. And they just looked really nice on her. So I was like... I want them uh, and now I've got them and I really like them they're a little bit on the tight side at the minute but I think as soon as I've worn them out for like probably even an hour they'll be fine um but yeah no, I really like the fit of these I'll try and because I can't get far enough away I'll try and insert like a little something or other here of what they look like full length but that's it we're off I need to get myself into central now and then uh see you when I'm there so oh it's very dark but i realized i've done a really bad job of vlogging today literally did nothing but we went to a coffee shop we did some work and then we went to see a no really limits terrible show, a actually. really terrible show we went to see no limits earlier it's got hannah lowther in it and what did you think of it who me <laughs> yeah you I'm awful terrible no. really rubbish she can't sing at all oh sorry not me no, no it's all right she's trying to this <laughs> it's fine it's not dangerous at all yeah no it was it was really rubbish hannah can't even sing and actually <laughs> we don't really like her but she's in the car because she followed us home get rid of her. yes so home. embarrassing <laughs> i'm literally just currently sat on the floor i've had a bit of a power morning ish um trying to clean everything like i've tidied the whole kitchen my office is almost clear my bedroom is still a tip i'll show you that 
even though it's a bit embarrassing. Amy is here, she's doing some work and I am just trying to get a couple of bits on my Notion sorted and it just came up with a pop-up saying try the new AI feature they've got and I was like yeah go on then and there's like a couple of different prompts that you can use for it oh and one of them was a creative story and I was like Go fine on. write me a story then so it then, then starts the sentence with like write a story about and you fill in the rest so i opted for write me a story about three girls that take a spontaneous trip to new york to see ben platt in parade on broadway for no reason for no reason it's That's like a completely so like weird thing to we're say definitely not it's, doing yeah it's just like not even something on our radar at all but what i can read to you is a story called A Spontaneous Adventure, oh, written by the Notion AI. I'm really bad at reading things out though. I, I find, it. yeah, can you? Because I find I get really tongue tied. <laughs> I read too quickly and my mouth doesn't work. So Amy is gonna do a reading for you. <laughs> Lucky you. Okay. It's so good. I have only skimmed it, but already I was like, this is gonna be oh, excellent. God. We've got names. names. It was a typical Friday evening when three best friends, Mia, Lily, and Emma, which were you? What were they? Mia, Mia Lily. Well, Mia can be Maria. Maria. So we're either Lily, Lily or Emma. Emma. Vote in the comments who's Lily. Oh yeah, I don't know. I think gut instinct says I'm Lily or Emma. Tell us if we're wrong. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Mia, Lily, and Emma were hanging out at their favourite cafe in their small town. That small they town, London. Yeah. They talked about everything from school to boys. Boys. We talk about school and boys so much. We do, all the time. But the conversation soon turned to their shared love of Broadway. Suddenly, Mia had a brilliant idea. Mia is me, actually. Mia is you. <laughs> Why don't we book a spontaneous trip to New York and see Ben Platt in Parade on Broadway? She exclaimed. Lily and Emma were stunned, but it didn't take long for them to agree. <laughs> I don't even think we were stunned. We just no, went, oh, like, yeah, all right then. Yeah, sake. fine. <laughs> the next few days were a blur of excitement as the girls planned their adventure. Haven't got that far yet. Mm. They had never been to New York City before in the last six months and were eagle to eagle and were eagle. eager to explore the city that never sleeps. They booked their flights again, we haven't done that bit no. yet, and found a cozy Airbnb in the heart of Manhattan that cost them fifty million pounds. <laughs> yeah, if they were at the school, how are they affording that? Sorry. Bank of mum and dad. Yeah. They even managed to score tickets to see Ben Platt in parade on Broadway. Not bad. As soon as they landed in New York, the girls were in awe of the city's energy. They spent their first day exploring Central Park, Times Square, and the Empire State Building. It's a shame they didn't go to like Brooklyn Bridge or anything. Yeah, I love I like Brooklyn Bridge. I like it there. They tried New York style pizza and hot dogs from street vendors and it was everything they had imagined and more. I was gonna say I never had Joe's pizza because I was really unwell when we were there. Oh my God, all I want is a sweet grains. Same. Literally. I think about it, I, I think... was thinking about this the other day. I can't, I was walking somewhere, I can't remember. And I was like, all I want is either a sweet greens or a Tropaluna, which is like our equivalent, but there's yeah, but one in good. King's Cross. And also, I if, just want a sweet greens. If we do go to New York next week, which is such a ridiculous thing. It's like, weird that you would even suggest I that. will eat sweet greens like every day. Every day. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay. On the night of the show, the girls were buzzing with excitement. I'm not being funny, but if we actually see Ben Platt, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> they dressed up in their best outfits and took the subway to the theatre district. We wouldn't do that, would be in a new part of the subway. <laughs> When they took their seats in the theatre, their hearts were pounding. The lights dimmed and the orchestra started playing. Ben Platt walked onto the stage and the girls were instantly mesmerised. Which we will be if we I'm were, be and we would sick. hypothetically be mesmerised. Hypothetically, if, be sick. if we were hypothetically in New York, but this is a hypothetical situation. <laughs> For the next two hours, the girls were transported into the world of parade. It's not a world that I want to be in. Mm. They laughed, cried, and sang along to the show's unforgettable songs. When the final curtain call came, the girls gave Ben Platt and the rest of the cast a standing ovation. They left the theatre with tears in their eyes. And sick down their fronts. <laughs> feeling 
grateful for the once in a lifetime experience they had just had. The rest of their trip was just as incredible. They visited the Statue of Liberty, the M Metropolitan Museum of Art. I like it there. Yes, it's yeah. nice there. And even took a ferry ride to Staten Island. We won't be doing that because the no. last time we did that, I had to lie down the whole time. So I, I was wish gonna I could. Sick. Do I have footage of that somewhere? I don't know, but I was so unwell that like, even if you recorded me, I actually don't think I know. It was so funny. You were literally just. I was literally you were like. like Corpse, <laughs> like arms straight, like lying down, arms straight down your side, like, like no, eyes closed, and you're like, everyone, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> they ate more delicious food, sweet greens, and Dunkin' Donuts. Met friendly locals <laughs> and took countless pictures to remember their adventure forever. That sounds quite on brand, so actually. Yeah. As they boarded their plane back home, the girls knew that their spontaneous trip to New York would be a memory they would cherish forever. <laughs> They had come to the city to see Ben Platt in parade, but they left with so much more than that. Oh, they had experienced the magic of New York City and felt closer to each other than ever before. Don't know about that last bit. But. Do you think we're, I don't. I don't know that I necessarily come back from holidays feeling closer to you all. More like I need a break. I don't know how I would physically be closer to you all. <laughs> That's true because I've been <laughs> vlogging for three days and you've been there every day. <laughs> like, I actually, I don't think there's anywhere to go. No, there's not. <laughs> so. That was so fantastic. And now, am I going to waste the rest of my day? <laughs> <laughs> on notion writing stories no yes. jess we've got things to do because we might be busy next week but also i don't think i'd eat a hot dog from a street vendor i also would not but i would eat new york style pizza and sweet greens and many i would donuts. In, theory. in theory hypothetically if anybody was going to new york hypothetically i would have a dunkin donuts if i were actually be in new york what are you doing am what are you, what are you doing? Look. Just having a look at what? Just having a look. Just a little browse. Yeah. What's that then? The Ramada. Oh, hello. Oh. oh. Are we gonna maybe just hop across to New York just next weekend? Mm. Don't know. Maybe. Might do. Might Feeling do. quirky. <laughs> we did it. We did it. <laughs> We're going to New York in nine days. <laughs> we had this idea two days ago. Was it even two days ago? Wasn't it last night? No, night before. No, it was the night before. Night before. Well, it was at about midnight, so it could have been yesterday. <laughs> yeah, technically. We just figured we're going to do it at some point anyway. It's Might cheaper well now. It. Yeah, while it's like off peak, we're less busy than we usually are. So it just kind of made sense to bite the bullet and do it. Every time I look in the camera as well, I'm reminded that I need to wash my hair. I haven't washed my hair. Well, now we need to think about coordinating. Oh, uh, and so the distance between now and when you last washed your hair is the distance between now when we get to New York. So if you can wash it now and then not wash it for like another eight days, then it'll probably time itself quite well. Which is actually very doable. <laughs> yeah, that's not that. Well, that's that your hair was really, really well. well. Yeah. I'm gonna be sick. We actually have a problem. We had this idea two days ago, and then we just kind of went. Well, anyway, should we book it then? Maria took no convincing at all. She never does. For no. Dog. And the other two aren't coming with us. Chloe is away in Rome with a couple of her other friends at the minute, so it's like a bit too close to that. So she yeah. was like, oh, "I'm bowing out of that one." Yeah. And Abby... Abby's been away recently as well. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So they were we've... very much invited, but they're not feeling quite as silly and quirky as we are. Yeah. <laughs> we're still gonna do it. Absolutely. It's fine. And we've got so many other bits that will be lined up with the others for later in the oh, year. Definitely. We'll definitely that this one. It's a flying visit. We're we're away from the Friday to the Tuesday night, aren't we? Yeah. So like it's a quick little something or other. And we were just feeling a little bit silly and goofy, so we decided to go for it. We like this. Just sat on the side of the road while Maria is in her car changing her outfit. We've done one already, she's got a couple more to do. And I ran into Paul because I was absolutely desperate for the toilet. And I, you know, bought something because I didn't want to just run in and be rude and use the toilet without buying anything. So pick something at complete random. I don't think I've ever been to a pool before, even though that is literally my cat's name. But this is like an apricot pastry. And it's one of the most sensational things I've 
ever had in my life. Um, so I will be probably a pool stan from here on out and a, a frequenter, a pool goer, because this is genuinely beautiful. The fact that this and this and this all need to be put away today. Oh, I'm disappointed in myself for letting I get this bad. I've just lit five candles and I've stuck some music on in the hopes that it's gonna give me the uh, kick up the arse that I need to get all this done. Look at it, look at it. a spare fitted sheet for the mattress um so i'm just changing everything else until i can get my hands on one so that's it's an interesting development in my day our old bedding set that we had on like before this one um is clean so where's the sheet that we used for that is the question of the day i just don't know what's going on but either way at least like the majority of it is done and then by the time i've found another sheet like it will just be in a washing pile somewhere you've seen how much mess there is around like it's somewhere so but i thought at the very least i'll get all the rest of it out of the way so that i basically can make the bed and put everything on top of the bed to then try and put it all away the plan for the, the day is actually that i need to start thinking about all my new york outfits but i can't do that until all of my clothes are away because I need to know, like, I need to be able to see what I've got. It just feels like I need to tidy all of this up first before I can even think about it. You know when, like, messy environment, messy brain vibes? I don't want that. I need to get it all sorted out, make some space in my brain. I find that I procrastinate and get too distracted or just feel really shit if my environment is a mess. So this is just, like, really important that I tackle it now. And then later on deal with all the other issues. I have been absolutely powering through all the tidying. All I've got left is this pile of like underwear that just needs to go in the drawer there. Um, I'm sure you'll be pleased to know. I found my fitted sheet as well so I can finally make the rest of the bed. But annoyingly, obviously now means I need to pull everything off the bed to put it all back on again. But I've already done that once today, but that is fine. I've literally just got some other bedding that I need to put away. And then I've got a couple of little bits that need to go under the bed because we've got like uh, an Ottoman <laughs> one of those. A um, couple of bits to put under, a couple of bits that need to go in the laundry basket and then the rest of the mess is Ollie's and he's out at the minute so he can sort that out later. But I am. It's done exactly what I needed it to do. Like earlier when I was saying I needed just to kind of like clear the environment to help clear everything going on up here is definitely done that i feel a lot more prepared to like tackle everything else that needs to be done so i'm feeling very good very like accomplished it's taken longer than i'd care to admit but that is because i am the queen of procrastination and i just like every so often i have to just sit down to <laughs> scroll on my phone or to reply to a whatsapp i just i don't have the focus to do it all in one go i really have to take like little breaks and then like get back into it so it does like take me longer than it needs to but whatever it gets done in the end so i'm not complaining this is literally like my last little bit of the day and then i need to try and figure out all of my um new york outfits basically but i'm not going to include that in this vlog because that feels like it's a problem for the next video might do a whole like pack with me maybe so you'll be able to see what i pack there and obviously i'm gonna be doing plenty of content when i'm there i can't work out whether i want to vlog i think i do very new to like vlogging in general this is a very different format for me and whenever i used to try it in the past when i unsuccessfully tried to do youtube i don't know i just never got into a good habit with it and i think it's all about like building up a routine uh which i just could never do but yeah i'm trying to get back into it now 
trying to do like more long form content because it's just what I enjoy. So yeah, I probably will end up vlogging New York. And this, if you've never done this before, folding up your duvet set and one of the pillows and put it inside another pillow so they all stay in the same place and you don't lose any of them. This is like my best organisation hack ever. I've done it for years. I know that I just check what's on the front of the um, pillowcase. So I find the, the set that I want that way and then it's all in one place and I don't have to worry about it. And I do the same with um, fitted sheets and pillowcase, like white pillowcases as well. They all go like in the same. Just so, just to make my life easier. Best hack ever. Anyway, I actually think I'm going to call it a day here for this little vlog. It's going to be a long one, I reckon. You'll have already watched it all by the time I get to this, though. So, yeah, I've got some planning to do. I've got some editing to do. And then, this evening, I want to sit and read. I have barely read this week because I've just been so distracted with other things. So it's going to be, like, a cosy little evening while Lolly's out. Um, I hope you enjoyed it if you made it this far. And... We'll see you in the next video, I guess.